Hey everybody, I'm Gardner, the Linux Gamer. And right off the bat, I need to apologize for the way DistroQuest has happened. Or not happened, I guess. It didn't turn out the way I was expecting. Originally, I was gonna live stream the installation process and my first impressions of several distros, all the while chatting with you guys about the overall experience. However, I've been having serious internet trouble for the last few weeks, and that's why I haven't streamed at all. Not even my usual weekly editing streams over on twitch.tv slash Zondak. So I'm sorry about that. I'm gonna be moving soon and I'll have fiber optic internet at my new place, so I'll be able to stream on hopefully a nightly basis, so stay tuned. But throughout all this, I have been using and trying new distros. I've tried Linux Mint, Fedora, Elementary, Manjaro, Pop! OS, and OpenSUSE. And I have to say that I have been impressed the love, dedication, and craftsmanship that goes into each distribution is a testament to free and open source software, and it makes me so proud to be part of this community. But just to recap, this is what I've been looking for in a distro, and it's pretty simple. First, reasonably up-to-date packages with sane defaults, which is something I just discovered, ease of installation and everyday usage, compatibility with games, obviously, and preferably GNOME as the default, if not an officially supported GNOME spin. And I found two distros that have really caught my attention, Manjaro and Fedora. Or is it Manjaro? Who knows? I've got Manjaro installed on my laptop and Fedora installed on Dargo, my desktop PC. Manjaro feels bleeding edge. I find my repos are constantly out of date and need refreshing since packages are always being updated. Documentation is good, and I've found that the Arch Wiki typically helps resolve whatever issues I may be having. However, because stuff gets updated so frequently, information from even just six months ago may no longer be relevant. For example, I tried to install an Nginx and PHP development environment on my laptop, but it was a serious pain in the ass. First, I just installed the Nginx mainline and PHP FPM packages, and tried editing the config files to get things working. I'm no web server expert, but this has never been an issue with me on Ubuntu server. However, my previous experience didn't seem to do me any favors, so I uninstalled the packages and tried reading a guide. I followed the guide's instructions, but one of the packages was no longer available. So I gave up for a bit, and then came back, read the Arch Wiki documentation, and finally, after like literally three hours, I got everything working. Fedora seems solid. It comes with GNOME by default, and despite their aversion to proprietary software, the NVIDIA drivers were pretty straightforward to install, which wasn't really a problem on Manjaro either. Speaking of software installation, when I was having issues with getting PHP and Nginx set up on my laptop, I moved over to my desktop and tried installing these packages here in Fedora. It took me about 15 minutes, I didn't even need documentation. So that's a major plus for Fedora. My friend EG suggested that Fedora has better defaults for these packages, and he was definitely right about that, so thanks, man. The one complaint I have with Fedora is that DNF, the package manager, just feels an order of magnitude slower than the likes of apt or pacman. But that's really the only problem I've had with Fedora at all. So that's where DistroQuest is at as of June 17th. I'm going to continue using Manjaro and Fedora until I make up my mind. I, I like both of them but I feel like one will be the victor at some point. And I'll be sure to make another video when I decide what distro I'm gonna stick with. But what do you think? Did I miss your favorite distro? Leave me a comment and let me know, or hit me up on Twitter, at the Linux Gamer. If you believe in the work that I do, you can help support the show with a monthly contribution over on Patreon or LibrePay. Or you can pick up a t-shirt over on Teespring. But whatever you do, whether it's hitting that like button or sharing this video with your friends, don't forget to subscribe to see more from me, the Linux Gamer. And as always, Thanks for watching.